Um, we have some questions regarding testosterone. So this person about seven months ago had brachytherapy and they're feeling good and they got their testosterone uh, t test back and it was about 1277, so pretty high. And they're wondering if this is a cause for concern. I would say the simple answer is no, it's not. The um, testosterone levels are uh, quite labile. I'm confronted all the time by patients who are concerned that their testosterone has changed. It's now higher, it's now lower, but uh, people forget that testosterone is released into our system in pulses. So if you test it at uh, one point and then test it again an hour later, it can be quite a bit different. So I tend to look at testosterone more. Is it present? Is it in a reasonably normal level above 200, say, uh, versus very low while someone's on therapy? Um, find distinctions about testosterones of 300 versus 600 probably don't have much meaning, and I tend to list more, listen more carefully to what the patients are saying about how they feel. Do they have a libido? Do they have energy? And uh, if they do, then that's probably enough testosterone, almost regardless of what the numbers are, unless they're extremely low, say less than two, 150 to 200. Yeah, no, I see a lot of comments on testosterone. And I think the fear is really that they believe that testosterone could feed the cancer. So does testosterone grow prostate cancer? I know the lack of it can take away prostate cancer. To, so does the growth of it in any way help that? Well, cancer needs testosterone to grow like we need oxygen to survive. But uh, we don't grow bigger and taller if we consume more oxygen or if we are in an oxygen-rich environment, and the cancers don't grow better or grow more vigorously in high testosterone situations compared to normal testosterone situations. I know that um, in you know ADT situations when people are on you know hormone therapy, you know we always encourage them to try to work out and grow muscle mass and everything. And then there's some concern that they say, well, muscle equals testosterone. So obviously in a hormone therapy setting, that wouldn't be a concern because they're obviously the hormone therapy is taking it way down. But for a man who maybe just had radiation or surgery or something and they're building muscle mass, so it doesn't seem like there'd be a cause for concern if they are getting muscle mass from exercise. Yeah, I agree with you in that, that the uh, people who are hesitant, sometimes they'll say uh, they're wondering if sexual activity will augment their testosterone levels or if exercise will augment their, uh, their testosterone levels. And is that potentially deleterious? And I say, no, it's not deleterious. It's actually uh, salutary and, and helpful for people to work out, build their muscles. And if their testosterone levels are slightly higher, it's not going to change their long-term outcomes. Hey everyone, it's me and Sir Hunter the Dow, our PCRI mascot. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hunter definitely wants you to. And if he can high five me, you have to subscribe right now. Oh, you're already high fiving me. Good job. Thanks so much. Visit our YouTube channel and also our website for more information at PCRI.org. Say bye.